Hey guys, Zach Mars here, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet the Indigo Disc. So, I have been busy. Uh, that's the right button. Okay, I have been busy. So, essentially, what I did was I raised everybody up to the required levels that I needed them to be at. Um, Sylvia, of course, hit level 100. So, you know, she can't get any stronger than she possibly is. So, you know, she's just, you know, my beefy little spider tank, which is great. But also, I have re-added re Blue to the party because Pika Blue, you know, I, in general, I just have been neglecting Pika Blue a bit. And then Slimamander, I actually upgraded him, changed his abilities around. I actually used the ability capsules I had. I couldn't get the ability patch, but I did give him the ability capsules, which enabled me to switch his ability from Poison Points to Water Absorb, which means he now no longer has a Water-type weakness and can essentially wall her Primarina a little bit better. And then, of course, Fort Fortimer is here because I honestly have no had no steel types that I could really use other than him. So, and actually, none that were high enough level, I think. Because I did also try to raise my, uh, what is it, uh, if I can check my boxes. I also did try to raise my Hisui and Guja, but Guja is nowhere near where they need, they need to be to actually do the stuff I need them to do. So, unfortunately, Guja is just going to have to... You know, sit tight, in a, sit tight in the box for the time being. So, we will be using them in a bit. But in any case, the point being, and also Bunsen is level 93. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with how my team has turned out. So, hopefully this will be enough to actually get through Lacey, but I have no idea. Don't think our Lacey's just a cute face. She's a force to be feared with that extra, extra good, good drill of hers. Oh, okay, fantastic. But... Make sure my Pokemon are all sorts of healed up. But yeah, what well, I think... This will go well. This should be fine. Hopefully. The main thing I'm worried about is, of course, her... Uh... We didn't even get to her Excadrill, by the way. Like, they, they said, like, her Excadrill's a force to be reckoned with. We didn't even get that far into the battle. We, we got stonewalled by her, what is it? We got stonewalled by her, we got walled, but walled completely by her, uh, slow bro. So, unfortunately, we were not able to do anything with that. But, uh, any case, I got nothing else to say. We're just gonna save. We're gonna nail this, uh, nail this shut. We're gonna get this done. And then we're gonna move on to Drayton, who I really don't know how well we're gonna do against either. Uh... Yeah, also... Okay, this should be far enough. We've already seen all this, so we're gonna just... Skip through it. All right. Let's do this again. This time I'll be facing you with my usual power of member of the Elite Four. Intimidate. Not that it matters. We're gonna be torch songing her Whimsicott. Because Whimsicott's currently the main thing I'm worried about. Because it can set up all the light screen and tailwind before it goes down. So, and that can be problematic because it'll be a lot faster than it should be. Alright, it's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is what I'll be turning back on you. Why did you have to land that kind of hit? Now that's just not right. Okay. Okay, Focus Sash on the Whimsicott. That makes a bit more sense. I was never going to be able to take that out of one hit anyway. Alright. Slowbro, I'm a little worried about. 
does a quick draw. Alright, it didn't use quick draw, did quick draw, so I might be good? That's the issue with slow, with, with uh, Galarian Slowbro. I know that it can use quick draw and just outspeed everything. That's the main issue I'm worried about. Primarina. Alright. Time to go. <laughs> Time to see if my strategy pays off. I don't know if I have no faith Ogrepan's gonna survive if I leave her in. So, cause Spray Marina has water type moves, which is definitely going to so soften her up. Alright, Fortimer. Alright, and these two actually combo really well together. I found out. Water Absorb! Yeah, the water absorb works. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh, that's one of the few things I'm weak against. Okay. Farmer got one hit in before going down, but he's fine. All right. That's much better. Good boy, Slimamander. Good boy. Now we go in for somebody. Somebody might be helpful here because of, you know. Hide behind Silk Trap, that should keep you safe from Slimamander. Without setting off the Silk Trap on Slimamander, might I mention, this should be fine. This should work. Alright, we're playing with strategy now. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Yeah! Now we're cooking. Alright, that thing's got leftovers. Okay. Alright, well I think now that we've gotten rid of our slow bar, we can just send in the toxic spikes. Disable that. Should have fled with that. All right, now that Slime Amanda, now that she has been disabled. 
We can bring Ogre Pawn in, since I'm pretty sure that was the only strategy she was running. effective, but it still hurt like hell because of all the boost of damage. Unfortunately, that still very much hurt. Alright, we're cooking. We're cooking a little bit more. what she's doing she's running a tanky build on her alchemy all right that did hit have a disabled but unfortunately not enough It is. Okay. Mega Horn. They should finish it off. Oh, we put Aqua Ring on Pig and Blue. Yeah. Okay, that. Yeah, that, uh, that Alchemy is not going to go down anytime soon. Ow! Down you go. Okay. Bunsen's probably safe to go back in again. Extra drill. But it does re remove its fire typing. So I'm a little worried about that. Bag. Slime Amanda, you're gonna lose a turn. You're gonna torch song this thing. Well, eyes are on the great picture astral heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Okay. put a revive on Fortimer so he can get back up on the field. Meanwhile, Bunsen, we're just going to keep doing what you did. We're going to torch song this thing. Hopefully that'll be enough. 
Give him extra. Get a lesson flying with your adorable destructive force. Terra Blast. But Terra Fairy is... Okay. You missed. Good job. All right. Well, you mean you hit the right poke, the wrong Pokemon to be doing. And with that, that should be game as I don't think her alchemy has anything else it can do to me on its own. If it did, it would have. Oh, that's what an alluring voice does. All right, Fortimer. Now we force it. Now we just force a win on here. Fortimer, attack. Alchemy. And bag. Not that I think we need it, but in case this thing somehow has something that can hurt Fortimer. We should probably top him off. I don't think I have to worry about anything for like that, though. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's very tanky. But I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, that'll... Yeah, she has no other Pokemon, so I think it's literally just her alchemy right here that we need to worry about a little bit. But, we got it. Uh, that said... Pressure is... I think she ran out of her covers. I think she might have run out of her covers. Alright. And I don't think it matters, so... Marl. Perfect! I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Fantastic! Zack, Zack, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute even for me. They were super cute. You're the cutest, Slicey. Nope, wrong. We're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Zack. Phew, you know, you know, it's just not right for two people to hug all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute little Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Alright. Oh, this one's just too cute. I'm going to make myself a backup copy of three or three. Okay. I'll give you this as well. It's proof of your cuteness. All right. What does a luring voice do? User attacks the target using its angelic voice. This also confuses the target if its stats have been boosted during the turn. That's how that works. That's why it worked on. Uh, was it? That's why it worked on four. Uh, that's why it worked on uh, Bunsen and not Fortimer. Okay, that's how it works. So it turns the fact that you can, you're confused that they're raising your stats against you. That's mean, but also kind of cool. I like that idea. You really are strong when you get serious in battle, Zach. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll keep keeping an eye on you and your progress. Okay. In that case, we are, I think, almost done with this main story, I think. We have... Oh, yo, yo, Joe, champ in the making. That's really only for your chance now. Seeing how sorry you're getting is making me sweat a little. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's why it helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? 
I mean, it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard all because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Uh, you know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder I had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite, for your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Okay. Okay. So I'm imagining he has unique dialogue depending on if you fight him first or not. <laughs> but yeah, I mostly saved him because I'm shit scared of dragon type Pokemon. Being perfectly honest, there's no other reason for that. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to Victor over Miss Lacey for this biome. I don't get any sort of special prize. I can't do like the quiz again. Okay. I guess it's not all the buildings that do it. All right, anywho. I need to heal up my Pokemon. Okay. Do we fight Drayton now or save him for later? I'm going to fight him I think we fight him now and rip the Band-Aid off. If I think I have the po Pokemon that I can use to beat the shit out of him, but... Also, I'm kind of worried because I don't really have any real way of knowing what he has. Because dragon type Pokemon can be mean. The, the main issue with dragon types is that, uh, as you can probably, like, the dragon type Pokemon are just power powerful. That's really all they've got, but it's enough that they carried that, that they did carry the metagame for a bit. Uh, and then fairy types exist. So, not as much anymore. Uh, hmm. Uh, if that's the case, I wonder what he has. That's a real question. Why? I'm curious what Pokemon, what Dragon types he actually has. Because I've seen from the trailers, not necessarily from, like, the game itself, but I've seen from the trailers that he has a new Pokemon that, apparent, that exists. And I don't know what it is. I like, I do, like, legitimately, that's the only one I, I'm worried about. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it is. But I know he hasn't. But I know he has a new one of whatever it is. So I'm a little worried. But I think what we're gonna do is leave with Fortimer and Pika Blue. I think that'll be a good start. Okay, let's go fight. Let's go find him. I don't think I am anywhere near close to him, but... Yeah, I haven't discovered anything in this region. So, we got a ways to go to go kick his ass, then. We're capable of training our dragon types who firmly believes in having fun at all times. He's constantly tired during the day, but stays, stays up late, late lacing around anyway. For also Opalucent City and Unova. Alright. Yeah, it makes sense. He's from Opalucid. Like, he shares a name convention with the gym with one of the gym leaders there. So, it makes sense. Alright, in any case. Go fight him. Because I really don't have anything else to say. Oh, well, then let's just get good at it. And take it out. Because, unfortunately, he's just powerful. There's just, that's just no, 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 no doubt about it. Like, dragon types are just difficult to deal with. For a number of reasons. They're just power... They're, they're absolute powerhouses. And a lot of them are legendary and pseudo-legendary for a reason. Like, it's usually slapped onto the legendaries and pseudo-legendaries. Because, you know, they have the stats to back it up. That is how dragon types thrive. Okay. Let's see if we can... It's like that's just legitimately just it. They 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 feed off of their raw stats to become really really powerful and really really dangerous. 
frankly, I don't really know how I'm supposed to deal with that. Hello, friend. I did. I had a feeling there was something in here. Ice beam. Ooh. That might be worth putting on pink and blue. Hold on a second. That might be worth putting on pink and blue. Because pink and blue. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that might be worth replacing Aqua Tail with, or Play Rough, because currently, eh, maybe not, maybe not. Defense is lacking a little bit. Pika Blue's lacking a little bit in the spe in this special category. So so maybe not. Uh yeah, still 125 is good. It's five points low only five points lower than his regular attack, so it might be worth putting on him. Hmm. Special physical spe well, status. Uh Does he get anything else? Does he get any sort of other healing moves through? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Use TM to learn moves. We just got... Snowscape. Ice Punch. Ice Spinner. We haven't used Ice Spinner yet. I kind of want to use Ice Beam, because I think Ice Beam is power more powerful. Yeah, Ice Beam's more powerful and should play into Pika Blue's strengths, I think. So I think we're going to get rid of... Hmm. question is, what do I get rid of? Play Rough's a powerful stat move, so... And it already has Aqua Ring. Hmm. I think we're going to get rid of Draining Kiss. Because it's already got Aqua Ring to heal for healing. Which, and Aqua Ring... Mm, yeah, and Aqua Ring plus, plus Big Root equals more healing than usual. For some reason, I it just affects healing moves. I don't know why that is, but it but it does affect heal But it does affect... Usually it affects Draining moves and healing moves, like Ingrain and things like that. Mm. Calcium. Oh, okay. All right. Breaking swipe. Breaking swipe can be good. Does this count as a fast travel? Because it is a rest point. Should count as a fast travel point, I think. Should, being the operative word, because you can heal at it. Yeah, it's a safe point. Alright, we're going to keep making our way to Drayton, I think. Of course he's on top of the big mountain in the corner. Makes sense when you think about it. He is a bit of a show-off, so it makes sense that his, uh... Oh. Hello. Oh! There's Kasui and Quillfish! So I can't... That's how I get over Quill. I just find one and raise one. Okay. I knew it was in the... I knew it was in the decks. I just didn't know how I was supposed to get it. Now I know why. You can just casually find him. Out in the wild. It's interesting that that's specifically why. 
That it's interesting that he that he specifically can be obtained out in the wild. Because normal, because with the other ones you need. I don't know. Maybe they'll do that with uh, Stant with Stantler and uh, Weirdier at some point. That pro they probably will. Knowing, knowing Game Freak, they do eventually do those kinds of things, and especially in the you know the modern era where they will, where they shuffle shuffle poker around to make them to make them more viable, and you know they do that a lot. So I'm getting the feeling we will probably see an upgraded Weirdier at some point. Like, we will probably see an upgrade word here, and when that happens, we will gain the ability to, you know, gain him normally. Uh. Oh, I see Cryogle Hut. Oh. Charstone Cavern. Okay. I'm guessing lots of electric types in here. I'm guessing. Just looking at it, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of electric types. Okay. But it does seem like this place is not where I need to go, because the way out is this way. Dark Terra. There he is. That's where he hangs out. And there's Crabominable. Just out in the open. I like Crabominable. People are mean way too mean to it. Like, everybody is like it's that there are better that there are better op like specifically people say there's better options for like a sweeper because uh you know he, uh, first and foremost, Grabominable's ugly, and second, it's ice fighting, which isn't particularly strong defensively, but, and, uh, people claim that there are better sweepers out there. No, there isn't. It deals half the time chart on its own. Like, and now you can terrestrialize it, which further elim eliminates weaknesses. So, no, there really isn't. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, there just isn't what well, there just isn't a, anything better than than Crabominable. Especially in the generation that enables you to eliminate those very weaknesses. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. Alright, and you're Zach, right? We're the BB League challengers. You'll need to hand over 50 BP I do not have it. I don't how do I not have enough? I guess I gotta go do some some BBQs. What the hell happened? All right. I want to catch a rock type. So I guess I'm going to look for a rock type somewhere. Hmm. Problem is, there's no rock types in the polar biome, so I gotta go on a bit of a trek. But, I can do another one. Hold on. We can potentially get the BP that I need. Uh. There we go. That's the cool, that's what the good stuff. Okay, that was easy enough. That was an easy fix. I just forgot to get the VP I needed because I forgot it's 50 and I didn't have 50.
Hello! Catch it, because I kind of need it. <laughs> nope. Well, that was a waste of a move. <laughs> I understand why it's going for that, but at the same time, it doesn't heal. Also, I am waiting for this guy to get the Ursa Luna treatment. Like, legitimately. Like, I'm waiting for all the bear Pokemon to just get Ursa, to just be get their own version of Ursa Luna. Because currently we have, because currently this guy is just a two-stage evolution that is mainly a physical attacker, but doesn't really go anywhere because it's pure ice. I am curious what they'll do, what they'll wind up doing with that. We will probably see that in another Legends game at some point. I would absolutely love to see that. Uh, where the hell is the arena? I just saw it. It's over here, isn't it? Yep, over here. Okay. Now we can do the BP League and finish off Drayton. Hopefully. The, the oper hopefully being the operative word there. Yep, now I've spent all my BP. Whoa, hold on. My friend here gets in free. Uh, I sure, Dracer. The rules say. Just change charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it. Yeah. That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza Battle Court. Of course, his is the most story heavy. It makes sense. Now, it's basically the exact same battle court as, as in the other plaza. It's just colder. It's a cold. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not sure what you'd expect from a Dragon type user, right? A anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial, not to let listen to me ramble. So let's hop to it. I call my elite trial Terrarium Only Battles. Your goal is to clubber, is to clubber three of your fellow elite clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living and wild in the Terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets those conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun would it be if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through? Your opponents are under are, are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. Alright, so what we got? What do you say, bud? Ready for elite trial? I'm ready, I think so. Thank you. That's your cue, underlings. Come on. Come on out. What am I doing? I'm ready. Hello. Let's go. My trial's about to scale, but, I take, but it's chill. Take it as whatever pace you want. If you want to dive right into battling your three clubmates, go your three clubmates go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrain catching Pokemon first? No problem. Go on. Go, go out there and chill it up. Good luck, everyone. Give it your best shot. Win the terrain only battles. Interesting. How does this work? So it's gotta be Pokemon that can only be found in the terrarium then? Uh, when I get out of the right and battle go take a breather. Either way is good. Show me your skills, but chill. Okay. In that case... Ooh, what do I do here? So they gotta be Pokemon that are caught specifically in the... Mmm, that makes it a little bit more difficult. It does make it significantly more difficult. How do we... Huh. Unfortunately, I don't have many of those.
Alright. Alright, in that case, I guess we're not doing Drayton today. I'm gonna have to cat figure out what I think would be helpful. Never melt ice. Icy rock. see a seal. Or Dugong? Dugong. Okay. Okay, Pokedex updated. Now that does pose an interesting problem. I just got tactical a full team of six. No way around it. I just gotta catch a full team of six and battle with them. That's an interesting idea for a challenge. Like, legitimately. Alright. The right for explosive in a special way that makes it easier for the deflect attacks. Okay. And I need to figure out what Chancino does. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Very helpful. Is Joltik? Well, if I hopefully if I'm lucky, but Joltik gets compound eyes. Hmm. Joltik gets compound eyes and and ah. Uh, Okay. So now I know he's no longer under pressure. Okay, perfect. That's Joltik. Joltik, the attaching Pokemon. Joltik lives in cities and has learned a technique for sucking electricity from the outlets and houses. Uh, okay, we're gonna replace. We're gonna. Wait, see, I made my bag. We'll have to change that up. Hmm. Okay, we might as well actually just swap out all our Pokemon boxes as we go. I'm just grabbing what I think will be helpful. 
Not necessarily sure if it will be, but I'm just grabbing what I think will be useful. Uh, I need a fire type of some sort. Am I missing the Indigo Core from you? Pound it. I want to poke it first because I have six of these guys. I want to poke at him a little bit. Okay. This thing's preparing to show smack. Okay, this is actually going to be really helpful. I think this is going to be great. Critical hit. Poke him again. Yeah, this is why I said he'd be helpful. Because he just set up twice, and he's already really bust. Ah, recoil. But now... Oh, it's yellow! God damn it. That's not what I need. I need a blue one. I need a blue one. Alright, well that's on the general same, same idea that I'm working on. Okay, I need a blue one. I can find a blue one. Because I currently have... Currently have if I can find them. I currently have a indigo one. Check summary. Uh, I forget which color I'm specifically missing, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing an dark blue core. So if we can find a dark blue core, that'll help a lot. I'll get Okay. Are you what I need? I think it'll be bulky enough to survive. I'm hoping. Yes, that breaks it open. But it's also a yellow one. Why are they all yellow ones so far? That just knocked me the hell out. PP Max. Okay, the game does not like going through there. That was not great. Electro Web.
I want to fight you, goddammit. Now be the Pokemon I need you to be. Shadow Bullet. Damn you. Alright, I will guess I will have to find a I guess I'll have to find a blue core mini or later. Fire blast it. That's, okay, it's just that's all yellow cores in here. Alright, I guess don't really have much of a choice. I'm trying to build a, a team. I can't really be picky. I will just have to find the core I'm seeing somewhere else. Alright. And that counted as toward my total. Okay. Yellow core. No. But we're gonna add a party. Uh... Alright, what else can we get? What else do we got? We need more. Okay, this is annoying. Can I get down, please? Right on. <laughs> okay, I'm learning right on is not useful for indoor climbing. Like mobility, yes, but indoors he's just a mess. I don't think I have any further use for this cave, but... Oh, I can just grab the straight upgrade. Okay, what level does Joltik evolve at? 68? Isn't that what he evolves at? Because he's a unit of a Pokemon. They evolve way later than everything else I know. No, 36! He can just evolve straight. Once I've, you know, fought a bunch of things. So. Alright, Shadow Ball.
Actually, I don't even know if my Pokemon has what I need. Compound eyes, perfect. Okay, change moves. Does it have... Thunder, Electro Web. Use TM. I want to give it... Do I even have it? I don't even... I do. Perfect. This is why... This is why it now has a 90% accurate thunder out of the box. Which is just a little bit busted. Number moves. Uh, thunder wave on this thing will be helpful as well. Drill probably should catch you. Okay. Okay. Excuse drill's caught. I'm just kind of building a hodgepodge of whatever. Alright. Excuse drill can be good. Nope, we're not. I saw it was female and I had to. I saw it was female and I had to. Alright. I can claim a reward! Fantastic. Alright, I have almost a full team now. Which means I need one more to replace Ogre Pond, and that's it. Not bad, not bad. I do need to use Revives, though. One more Pokemon, though, to finish my full team of six. So, who else is available to finish? Honestly, I think otherwise I just need to fight somebody. So... Honestly, I've been missing this guy for a while, so I think we're going to catch him. Screen. That guy's going up first.
Okay, this guy is running a lot of utility stuff. Okay. And I should be able to evolve this guy straight into Magnezone. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Add to my party. I unfortunately have to get rid of Ogre Pond. Yeah, I've been missing that guy for the longest time, and now I have him. Alright. One more fight, though, I need to do. Do a little bit. Bump, 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 bump. bump. Bullet seed. There's Galvantula. Sticky web. Hmm. That's probably better than Gastroas. Uh. Hmm. I think we're good with Thunder Wave. And now if I go into my bag... Go into my bag... And it should just be under my battle items. But if I go into my bag... If I remember it correctly... Yes! They changed it so now you can evolve him with a Thunderstone. Perfect! Alright. That should do her. I think I got an okay team. I do need to shuffle some people around. Uh, you go up front. And you go next to him. Mini or... I think these two will pair well together. These two will pair well together. Okay. All right. Gotta get out of here. If I remember how to get out of here, where the hell am I? How to get out of here? That's an issue. Actually, this might be a simpler solution than I think it is. Yeah, if I think I can just fast travel right out. Right? Yeah, I can travel straight to Drayton. Okay, we've got what we need. Unfortunately, I think I have to leave this episode here. We unfortunately did not fight Drayton today. And a large part of that is because of his challenge. <laughs> like, essentially, like, essentially, I got... I just had to, you know, train with his old Pokemon thing. 
I had to really, really build a team that I thought would be good enough to go challenge. And I caught all of these natively, so they ha so they should work. I'm not entirely sure how this how they check for this, but I caught them natively, so it should work. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it here. All right, that was a little obnoxious, and my team is now very under leveled. But I think I can handle this. I think I can handle this. Uh, so yeah, many or I also need to up update their move items. Like I need to. Okay, let's see if we let's see if we can do that. Do I have items for them? I have a hard rock, I know, for mini ore. I can give silver powder to... Give to a Pokemon. You can have this. Hard stone, give to mini ore. That, you can have that. Soft sand, give to you. You can have that. Never melt ice. Give to you. You can have that. Uh, huh. I don't have any items that, that can be useful on these guys. But unfortunately, I built around my other team and didn't have any of the... I also will need to adjust their... Hmm. Bright powder. Let's give that uh, to you so you evade them more easily. I think. Fortunately, I do not have anything from Magnazone to hold. I can maybe give him a berry. That might be a good idea. Let's give him a berry. to you. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to help, but we're going to give it to you. Alright, in any case, I think we are going to leave this episode here. I have no idea what I'm doing with this challenge. All I know is that I built a hodgepodge team. And, honestly, some of them are just Pokemon I remember being really good, and others not. I don't really know. <laughs> I just went off memory being like, oh, Dugon can be good. Oh, Chinchito can be good. Minior can be good. Uh, uh, Galvantula, we, we know is good. We know Excadrill is really good. Magnezone's good. I just built a team about Pokemon I think would be good. Because I was literally just like, oh, I gotta, t I gotta assemble a team real fast. And that's about the entire explanation that you get, that you need. So, in any case, I think we're going to leave this episode here. I will retool their moves in between episodes. Because currently, I think Galvantula is the only one that's currently has any sort of build that I think is acceptable for a for going into a trial of some sort. And hopefully it should be fine. But in any case, we're going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. Um, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It does really help me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks and my way of saying thanks. So be sure to check those out. Link is down in the description. And also be sure to check out my Discord. Link is down in the description as well. I would appreciate that. Please go hang out over there. I very much appreciate it. Um, be sure and finally be sure to go and check out my Twitch. I stream Saturdays and Sundays over there as well as over here. We are also we are currently streaming Pokemon Violet. Um, which is which you know we're essentially doing that, but with a completely different team. So should be interesting. But uh yeah, and that's about all we got. And uh, we're also streaming Kingdom Hearts. So if you have not seen that, I would highly recommend that. I am trying to get that to be successful. So hopefully you guys can go check that out. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. 
until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.